Nowadays, superheroes are the most popular now than at any other time, due to the large amount of games, TV shows, and most importantly, theatrical films. But we don't see all the nightmares of comics come to life. So I am listing 10 of the creepiest DC comic villains. Hurry, young Titans. Your time is running out. Slade slash Deathstroke the Terminator. Most of you know of him as Slade from the animated series Teen Titans. Originally, he was going to be referred to as his alter ego's name, Deathstroke the Terminator. But the name wouldn't have gone well with the new TV series on Cartoon Network. In the comics, he became a military soldier, and despite his young age, became one of the highest ranking soldiers. After being assigned to Camp Washington, where he was promoted to a major, he met Captain Andaline Kane, who taught him everything she knows. They eventually fell in love and had a child. Chosen for a secret mission, the army gave him enhanced physical powers to make him the first metahuman super soldier. Sloyd's son was kidnapped by a criminal named Jackal. In a vain attempt to rescue his son, one of the criminals slashed his neck, destroying his vocal cords and making him mute. Enraged by the state of her son, Slade's wife, Andaline, tried to kill Slade. However, only shot him in the eye. The Joker. Everybody knows the Joker, which is why he's so low on the list. He may be insane, horrifying in some cases, and in other moments, monstrous. But he's now known so well by many fans of comics, Batman, or DC that he became more beloved than feared by his audience. The Joker has multiple backstories and just as many incarnations, but his true origins are unknown. The Dark Knight's greatest enemy is a sadistic criminal who has reported to have killed over 2,000 people in The Joker, Devil's Advocate. He is never actually sent to prison despite all of his crimes. Whenever he is sent to court, he will always be found not guilty by reasons of insanity. Now you're probably thinking, why doesn't Batman just kill the Joker? Because the Dark Knight does not kill anyone in an attempt to save others. He captures them, and let the authority take care of the rest. Scarecrow Many view him as the adversary of Batman. The Scarecrow is immune to fear, but gives more of it with his fear-enhancing drugs called fear toxins. Which, if taken into the body, will use the victim's greatest fears and phobias against them including involuntary fear in the victim's mind, driving them insane. All that remains is for you to watch as I drag your beloved Gotham into oblivion. Parallax In 1994, DC Comics replaced the original Green Lantern, Hal Jordan, with a new character, Kyle Reiner. After the character Mongol destroys his hometown, Ghost City, Hal Jordan fell into madness. He ended up destroying the Green Lantern corpse, killing his good friend Kilowog and all of the Guardians with the exception of Ganthet. He then changed his name to Parallax, but the truth is that Parallax is a parasite who has mind control and fear casting abilities. His powers have also affected the likes of Superman, Wonder Woman, and even Spectre. Even at one point controlling the new Green Lantern, Kyle Rayner. Black Lantern Corpses The blackest night falls from the skies. The darkness grows as all light dies. We crave your hearts and your demise. By my black hand, the dead shall rise. Zombies are already frightening enough to some. But what about superpower zombies? Or worse, zombies of former superheroes and villains. The Black Lantern Corpses are zombified versions of fallen DC heroes and villains. There is only one current member of the Black Lantern corpses being Black Hand. All others are either killed a second time, or, in some cases, brought back. Some examples are Panther, Starman, Captain Boomerang, and even the original Green Lantern, Hal Jordan, were members at one point. Black Mask While most of the other villains are frightening in power, Black Mask is more frightening in madness. How so? He burnt down his own mansion and killed his mother and father for not approving of his new girlfriend. As time went by, his now fiancé broke up with him in front of the entire staff. Bruce Wayne, 
came up to him and offered to bail out the company, which he inherited from his father, on the condition that Black Mask gives up control and allows Wayne to appoint his own board of directors. He agreed, but was still filled with rage and humiliation after what just happened. Not willing to blame himself for the breakup, he wanted to break into his parents' crypt. A strike of lightning came down on him and blasted the door open. He took this as a sign of his rebirth, to become even more crazy than before. Time Trapper Time Trapper was originally a strange robed figure from the extremely distant future. Time Trapper, also known as Paris, created the Iron Curtain of Time, which prevented the Legion of Superheroes from going into the future. He even has control over multiple slaves and a henchwoman named Glorith, in which he eventually killed. One time, he created a diabolical funhouse to challenge both Wonder Woman and Colonel Steve Trevor. He sent them to multiple disasters in time. Trigon Similar to Slade, most know Trigon in the Teen Titans. Trigon is the father of the character Raven, who suffered under the hands of Trigon, even to the point where he raped her. Of course, this wasn't in the Teen Titans as it was the Cartoon Network show. Trigon himself is a sadistic and cruel demon that was a result of a female member of a mystic Seth and the god they worshipped. The side effect of this pairing was that their child could be filled with the cast evil energies of the inhabitants of Azareth. At birth, Trigon killed all those surrounding him. At the age of six, he destroyed an entire planet. At thirty, he had control over millions of worlds in his own dimension. Doomsday Born in the depths of ancient Krypton, and held a little to no emotions, only hatred and destruction. An almost mindless monster who destroyed God knows how many planets. Eventually, he got to Earth where he met Superman. Most know him as the murderer of Superman in the 1992 storyline, The Death of Superman. It is really hard to imagine many people who were able to kill the Man of Steel. Dark Side. Trigon may have controlled millions of worlds in his own dimension, and Doomsday may have destroyed multiple worlds and even killed Superman, but neither of them are as intimidating as Darkseid. Formerly known as Prince Uxus, son of King Yukakan and Queen Hegra of Apocalypse. When his brother Drax attempted to steal the fable Omega Source, Uxus killed him and took the power for himself. This turned him into a rock-like creature and called himself Darkseid. Eventually, he fell in love with an apocalyptian scientist named Sully, and had a son. I'm starting to sense a pattern of starting a family and a disaster happening within that family. Speaking of which, Darkseid's mother hired Desad to poison Sully, because Hegra believed that she was trying to control her son. In a desire for revenge, Darkseid told the same man to also poison his mother, in which he succeeded. The story goes on and on, bigger and bigger. And with each disaster, Darkseid's heart becomes colder and darker, resulting in other acts like destroying planets, almost bringing all the Amazons to extinction, and while it may not be canon, fusing with Shao Kahn for Mortal Kombat. Darkseid's intentions is to get rid of all free will from within the universe and reshape it as his own. Darkseid is a god.